Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back with another weapon to review and uh, this time it's a modified sniper rifle made by Soze who you should all know by now we've done plenty of weapons uh, by Soze, all different types. Uh, it's taking a bit of a break from modding proper weapons um, so this is the first of uh, a couple of vanilla-ish guns he's calling it um, that he's going to be doing but they're still pretty good, still very fun to use so uh, I'm definitely going to carry on uh, covering them as they come out. So uh, yeah, today we're going to be starting off with uh, one of his vanilla-ish guns he's created called the Trojan, um, which is a very good sniper rifle really, nothing too complicated about it, but as always with the modded weapons, we'll go through them and give them a good review nonetheless and uh, give them a good try out. So uh, yeah, anyway, as always, we'll start off this guide by showing you guys exactly where to get this weapon. So as always you can click on the link in the description which should take you straight there or you can navigate there yourself by clicking on Borderlands 2 mods on the Borderlands 2 community github and then scrolling right down to the bottom uh, and then going up slightly to Sozy's section which is just here. Now click on there and that will take you to his weapons page. Uh, plenty of plenty of weapons in there but uh, obviously there is subsections as well. We're going to be looking at vanilla-ish guns today and then we're going to be clicking on the Trojan which is just there. And uh, once you click on that, that will take you to the weapons information page for all the information that you need to know from the developer as well as the code itself. Um, so we're going to click on the raw tab at the top right, right click save as and save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder as whatever you like, remember what you've saved it as and then come in the game, enter the console command menu and then uh, paste it in there and activate the mod and that will change the weapon of uh, pickings which is the Cobra so the unique uh, red text blue sniper rifle, blue rarity, the Cobra will be changed into the Trojan which you can see right here is a nice lightning effect as you fire it um, pretty cool that and then there's also uh, like a crackling uh, popping image around it as well which uh, I believe is uh, like a time event a timer event which uh, recreates a lagging effect um, which we'll explain a little bit more later on so this is what the weapon looks like on the overview nice black skin with a bit of a blue light blue trim and uh, slight bits of orange here and there nothing too crazy but uh, actually really nice um, actually I like the look of that I won't go into what the uh, the text subtext says um, it does spell something but uh, we've got to keep this PG now because of YouTube's banning laws on I mean, demonetizing videos on swear words and anything like that uh, so read it for yourself anyway but uh, yeah this is the Trojan gonna give it a quick fire right now I'm not very good uh, right here but uh, your aim is obviously like with all sniper rifles to aim for the critical shots so it's time to go do some killing while I run through the uh, the list of changes. And we're going to be taking it to my favourite sniping testing ground, uh, which is the uh, little gun up to the Sheriff of Lynchwood over in um, Lynchwood itself. So uh, I do like to bring sniper rifles here quite a lot because you can get a good distance away from the enemies and it's just a nice straight thin area where you can really practice lining up for your headshots. Not the best sniper, I always say this in sniper videos, but uh, do try try and keep some long distance shots as well as a few closer ones as well through this. So, list of changes. So we'll start with a small note um, from Sose himself. Uh, he says he's kind of dry about Borderlands 2 modding, so he'll be making more vanilla mods that don't break a million things. Please enjoy this gun. It'll be a new thing I will start to do regularly since vanilla style guns are also great, which I do totally agree with. Um, thanks for reading this. Enjoy. So, weapon information, this will replace the Cobra uh, and you can use any normal Gibbs code um, for the Cobra. There's no uh, specifications of uh, what attachments, what elements, things like that. I've just used a, a vanilla Cobra that I found on uh, an actual site. So just paste that straight into there and it's fine. It doesn't violate sanity check so it won't get deleted when activated. Uh, and it comes from a normal loot pool as well so you can still farm this from Pete's Burners. Uh, if you're lucky enough to uh, to get one, um, so list of breaks. It breaks nothing at all, which is quite quite irregular for modded weapons. They do usually modify other weapons or take bits from this weapon, parts from that, and then you can't use them guns. But this will break nothing at all. 
um, weapon changes. Um, the red text error code um, is on there, like I said, I won't read it out, but I can tell what that's supposed to say. Uh, now, this weapon simply has only a few little things to it. It will have a shock splash, which you can see on the enemies, which is very good for uh, human enemies with big shields and stuff like that. It will strip the shields pretty nicely off there. Combined with a critical hit as well, uh, you're going to do quite a lot of uh, decent damage onto an enemy with this. Uh, it has a buttload of crit, he says. Uh, normal bullet damage, nothing changed from the bullets. There's no adaptive bullets, things like that. It is just a straight forward vanilla bullet. But it does have a timer effect on it, which recreate, uh, which will create six explosions in two rows. So that's what I was on about at the beginning, where it has like a kind of crackle effect uh, around it. This is uh, sm six very small explosions in two different rows. Uh, and this, will re this is to uh, recreate a lagging effect. Uh, which I think is pretty cool, just the smallest changes always make uh, quite a good difference. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, doing kind of well in uh, Lynchwood. This was uh, my first and only attempt at running through with this weapon. And it just seems to gel with it quite well. I did uh, did enjoy it. I like the uh, the shock effects that keeps the shields off enemies as well. And uh, I'm not sure if it transfers to enemies stood near it. But uh, yeah, if you get a group of enemies and you shoot one and this shock splash effect goes off, it could very well strip the shields of other enemies, which is uh, pretty cool in itself. But it did quite a good job on the show for Lynchwood there to say that she's got such a tiny figure and a very tiny head. Uh, she went down pretty quickly, uh, so I'm pretty happy at that. But uh, yeah, I uh, did pretty well, really liked it. And uh, it's nice to have some vanilla-style-ish guns. Uh, vanilla-ish meaning obviously they're not vanilla, but... Uh, they, uh, they do feel pretty good. There's a nicely balanced weapon from Sose as always. Sose always makes very, very balanced weapons anyway. Uh, I can't think of any overpowered weapons he's ever made. So uh, always enjoy testing these, challenging yourself. And uh, yeah, if you're you know, a semi-decent sniper, um, sniper player anyway, then uh, you'll, you'll enjoy this weapon. So give it a try. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.